Right guys, uh, I'm going to show you a very interesting part that's, uh, that can make your life in journal so much easier. Um, that is the uh, input and output. Uh, basically, uh, you're going to like uh, put a specific, um, um, like a change of a like a rotation or scale as an input, so you can show at the right side. Uh, let me show you. Okay. So for example, if you like already finished uh, a certain like workflow. Like you got a ge uh, um, uh, geometry as a two uh, points, provide point information, uh, instance on point, and then in geometry output. Uh, remember, we got like a, this uh, like empty uh, unknown socket value. Okay, so you can use some of things. So, for example, if I say rotation, and I'm going to like adjust the rotation in the future, I can just uh, plug this rotation here. As you can see, we got this uh, rotation at this modification tab. So it becomes so convenient, especially got like really long uh, workflow, but you just want to use one or two. Okay, so for example, I want, want to use the rotation, I want to use, uh, say, the scale, I want to use, uh, I don't know, maybe the size of uh, each of the cube. Okay, so I want to get that size as well. I want to uh, get the, uh, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the, yeah, we got like vertices, but uh, uh, it's kind of a redundant because I already got the size. Uh, yeah, versus yeah, we can do that as well. So we can like increase the versus for that, but I can also change the uh, sizes as well as the scale. Uh, how cool is that? Uh, the reason for use this is that if you get, I uh, say, a really long workflow, say um, like a hundred nodes, I and mean, you just want to like cut some part out, okay? You organize that, you plug some of the, to the input. And uh, then every time uh, the other will just uh, you know use like uh, load your nodes, and then they can just uh, really really quickly adjust uh, the, uh, the the value at the right side. Okay. Okay. By the way, by the way, if you want you know make a, a like plugging um, just a really complex thing, you can do something like this. Okay. It's it's amazing. Uh, let me show you. So, for example, you are uh, you, you press like M. You got another panel coming up, coming up, on the right side. You can choose group, right? And uh, I already plug a lot of things. Okay, so I plug like a rotation scale all that to the input panel. So uh, the modifier panel at the right side will got everything here, and uh, you can you know just uh, rotate things. Uh, yeah, you got an idea. So you can do that with pretty. Uh, pretty easy and uh, yeah and uh, but other people don't know what thing that you're going to rotate you just don't need the rotation and scale you don't want this to be so vague so uh, what about that you're going to change the interface in group so if you click a rotation here okay you got rotation you got rotation connecting here and what are you going to do is to double click this rotation and I'm going to say there will be a cube rotation. So you know exactly what I'm dealing with. And this just become cube rotation. Okay, and uh, you can even change a lot of things. That's a great thing about Blender, open source, and it's highly customizable. You can like cube rotation, you got like rotation here, you can even just change that to image. Okay, so you can like a plug an image. Oh my gosh, that's uh, just simply brilliant. And uh, <laughs> right now I don't want to, uh, image uh, so I just uh, like uh, rotation and I'm going to say cube rotation type rotation okay I'm going to stick to type rotation if you look at here uh, let me just give you a little bit more space we got like cube rotation so the user will know exactly what kind of uh, like changes transition that you want to do All right and uh, of course you can like a change the defaults uh, XYZ all that so you can uh, like uh, you, you don't want uh, like a uh, uh, like facing like a really ninety percent. You want like a uh, tilt a little bit, okay? So you can uh, have a default X of something like this, okay? And then you can you know um, um, when other people are using you that you've got like a default X, okay? Uh, yeah, and uh, then you can change like uh, yeah. By the way, if you look at here, we got like different dots, okay? If, if you look at the dot at the left. All that is input, and this is uh, like an output. Okay, so so this geometry will be the output geometry, 
and this will be the input geometry. So it's a totally different thing. So for example, this will be like input geometry. So input geometry here. And of course, this geometry, you got dot on the right side, is output geometry. So output geometry. Yeah, output geometry. As simple as that. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much all, and uh, we, we, we will uh, dive deeper into uh, that, of course. Uh, but I prefer to actually, you know, uh, introduce this in a specific scenario rather than just, just you know, uh, just uh, introduce that for the sake of it. I don't want that. I want you, you know, you you can actually pick things up, pick knowledge up while you are creating something in the end, and that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, uh, see you next video, and don't forget subscribe. Give me a thumb up, okay? That's the least you can do. I earn nothing from making this video and I am unemployed. I need to pay the bill. Please, that's the least that you can do. Give me a thumb up and subscribe.